Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Dear Cancer, this is truly an incredible message that is aligned with the Jupiter and Aries year ahead astrology and oracle reading that I did for you, where it mentioned healing the father wound, reconnecting with your inner child to find balance in your busy life, and deepening your intuition would be up for you this year. It's truly profound how these set of cards give more thorough and sort of spiritual context. With regards to this question of who are the loving and benevolent ancestors showing up for you? We see it represented by the two of pentacles in reverse, the king of wands and king of knives reversed, and the ten of knives. And so this is telling me that father and grandfather ancestors are showing up for you, perhaps from either or both sides of your family tree, where it's also possible that their souls may actually be in limbo due to a lot of pain and trauma they caused your family that affected you. Where they are paying their karmic debts and actually making up for this through supporting your success and leadership in business ventures where you are making an impact healing self and others. For some of you, this could point to them having died in a traumatic way that caused a lot of sorrow, grief, and lack of closure. And for others of you, I'm getting that it's actually the specific paternal grandfather and or higher self of your father figures who are alive and in your life now, who you have tumultuous relationships with and childhood trauma from, or are disconnected from, which had the same effect really of leaving traumatic father wounds. And where their father slash your paternal grandfather and your father's higher multidimensional self actually feel sorrow and grief about this actually and are coming through in the same way, supporting your success and leadership in business ventures to make up for your father's absence and or shortcomings, right? And there's a message here urging you to truly heal the father wound in 2023 and to reframe those experiences and to find closure and forgiveness in your heart because Truly, that inner child wound, their absence or painful presence was a necessary catalyst in your powerful embodiment and integration of a unique emotionally intelligent masculinity that is manifest in your heartful leadership and business success that is helping you heal others that is blessing you with monetary comfort to enjoy a more playful lifestyle now and opportunities where you can reconnect with your inner child and radiate and reclaim your innocence and even a sense of wonder at how you're able to live your dreams and continue reaching for the stars. And in many ways, this is represented by, um, if you look at the cards, we have this innocence card here where there is a sort of wise spiritual father um, or older sort of grandfather figure that shows up next to this playfulness card and also the staff card here, right? Um, and, you know, while your journey to being a breadwinner or even success in your family was perhaps paved with hardship and pain from their father wound where you were so innocent, you know, it has helped you redefine emotionally intelligent leadership, parenting, and healthier lifestyles for so many others, right? And, you know, grandfather and father ancestors have been paying their karmic debts you know, based on their sorrow, really, you know, by supporting your efforts in the material world this way. So 
Now it's really just time for you to find closure, healing, balance, and play, right? There's really a clear message to stay balanced and give yourself time for rest, meditation, and play amidst the work you do helping others heal. And we have the Open the Floodgates card and the Have Your Voice card here that both indicate that, you know, it's time to truly face some depth of pain that maybe your father wound has caused, um, that, you know, you should find a way to like release the things that you want to say or wish you could have said, right? Um, when we read the Open the Floodgates card, it says, if we are unable to acknowledge and talk about our feelings, they stack up and build up like a pressure cooker waiting to blow, coloring our ability to see clearly. And so this card calls you to acknowledge your emotions and find a way to release them. It says, write down your thoughts and feelings, and if needed, reach out for professional help. And then, you know, we have the take action card that is next to it. And, you know, the sort of color scheme and even the symbology with the lotus flower really sort of parallel the color scheme and the open the floodgates card and the innocence card where it really suggests that, you know, uh, yoga, meditation, healing, and, you know, just really sort of reframing your experience in some way for closure will be really, really helpful and powerful for you this year. And then we have the have your voice card. It says, is there something that you need to say? An inability to speak out can leave us with feelings of hurt and resentment, which then create a kind of internal energetic roadblock. So it says, voice your feelings to yourself or write them down. It is time to release the past. So yes, um, I'm also getting with these cards that, um, you know, if some sort of conflict arises this year where you feel intimidated to speak your truth, or even if some huge intimidating opportunities arise for you, to ask for the spiritual assistance of your spiritual fathers to help you find your voice and your courage, and for lucky outcomes and Part of this uh, comes from the magic making cards that showed up here in this reading related to this question of what is the loving and benevolent advice that your loving ancestors have for you. And these are the little black cards here. And we have spirit, which says heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. We have triple moon, which says embracing all aspects of yourself, the divine and the earthly. And then Felix Felicitas, and it's the power symbol to create lucky and serendipitous events. And so this is truly talking about, you know, you having not only a deepening sort of intuition and ability to connect with um, those who have passed on and in general with sort of psychic intelligence and that it's important that you continue to also grow this faculty while you're also finding balance through self-care, through meditation and, and you know, because the Empress in the Four of Swords card here yeah, is also here. Um, but also that, you know, particularly the spiritual assistance of these father and masculine figures are going to help you in any instances where, you know, you feel intimidated and need to speak your truth, right? Or take a chance and take a risk, right? Um, where you need to have courage 
and where you hope for lucky outcomes, right? They are there to assist you and have been, especially in any instances where you've been taking chances already, right? Um, that's, that's really clear here. But yes, Cancer, um, similar to the Jupiter and Aries message here, you know, the cards just really do suggest that 2023 is going to be a powerful year for you in terms of work and career. Since we have the Six of Wands here and then we have the Eight of Pentacles, right, which is all about working hard, being dedicated to um, learning and to carrying out your responsibilities and tasks. Um, definitely look at that reading to get more insight. Um, there could be things that I'm not recalling that also came through in that message here. It is a little different. All right. So I'm going to round out this message with your angel number that also came through. Um, all of these readings had angel numbers come through. That is one way that I channel. And um, the channeled angel number message for you was 133. And in addition to that, I actually uh, started recording your reading here at 1111, right? So again, there's just a lot of spiritual um, energy here. Just, yeah, the, the energy is just very potent and present. And also there's just, just this really clear message here that, you know, your intuition is continuing to grow. So angel number 133 is a message to give your fears, doubts, and worries to the angels and the ascended masters so that they can be transmuted and healed. Trust that they support you completely and surround you with love and protection. Trust that the universal energies are working things out for your highest good. I also want to say too, right? The fact that this is specifically talking about ascended masters, which also tend to be represented by uh, masculine figures, just kind of reconfirms that these are sort of spiritual fathers and grandfathers that are coming through in this message. Um, Angel number 133 also gives you the courage to live your life with enthusiasm and optimism, safe in the knowledge that you are well blessed, loved, and supported in all that you do. Live your life with joy, passion, and purpose, as this will manifest your true desires. Be prepared to expand and increase your spiritual development and awareness. And there's also a message that, you know, your angels and ancestors are sending you positive energies, intentions, and affirmations. Be sure to pay particular attention to your thoughts, ideas, and insights, as these are giving you information about the next steps to take along your spiritual path. Any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be well worth your while and you will be assisted in their undertaking. Wow. So, I mean, it all really aligns um, through the cards, the stars, and the angels. All right. So, I hope that this message was really helpful. Um, definitely return to this message throughout the year anytime that you just need reconfirmation, reassurance that you are being divinely supported. And um, yeah, I wish you healing. Definitely like and subscribe. Take a look at the rest of the videos here and all of the links in the description box. Take a care, Cancer.